don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back uh, to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. So, we all know the Ghana and the 17th side tomorrow. Uh, the tournament begins. That is exactly the Wafu. The Wafu and the 17 Championship uh, will begin. Zone B uh, will begin tomorrow from the 5th of January to the 18th of uh, January. Now, the Ghana Black Satellite uh, will be taking part in that competition along with six other nations and it will be great to see who emerges triumphant once again now this will be a qualifier for the under 17 african cup of nations which will take place later this year in july so the ghana black talents uh, that's the under 70 side have started preparations in earnest i'll be giving you a brief on what they have done so far the games they have played reactions of coach of the side to uh, the draw that was held last year and ghana's chances and group opponents subscribe if you haven't and click on the notification bell to get more updates so as was done last month the wafu zone b championship uh, was supposed to be played in november but unfortunately it could not take place covid brought and uh, the need uh, for the games to be shifted and the ghana black starlet and the ghana black satellites had to reschedule their fixtures now owing to that the Starless Tournament, which is the Under-17 Waffle Zone B competition, which is a qualifier for the Under-17 AFCON, uh, will have to play this month instead of them playing last month or in November. Now, coach of the side, Ben Foucault, reacted uh, to the draw after Ghana were placed in Group B along with Nigeria and Côte d'Ivoire. Uh, Nigeria and Côte d'Ivoire was the same group that the Under-20 side were placed in for the under 20 afcon so i think the same format was used in this one in group a are the hosts uh, togo benin was supposed to be the host at the, t at the time the tournament was decided on but unfortunately as time progressed they could not make it to be the host so togo have taken on the hosting rights togo are in the same group with niger burkina faso and benin as well so togo niger burkina faso and benin group b with ghana nigeria and ivory coast this is what ben foucault said after that draw was held last year and we have been preparing for every situation because we already know our neighboring countries and the teams in the zone and we knew we will get to face nigeria ivory coast burkina faso and the rest and we are always prepared for every match because we know the strength of the squad nigeria and ivory coast uh, we are preparing and looking forward to our first match the 17 coach stated after the draw now he also provided updates on the activities of the team as they were camping in pram pram at the time the players he said are coping and uh, we all know with the youth side they get to learn a lot of new things when they are in the national team camp so since we resumed camp we've ensured that we did the same through various sessions uh, to improve their fitness over the weekend the steam took place in a friendly uh, with niger and uh, that prepared them i'm sure for the games ahead uh, this week um, ghana will be placing uh, nigeria so tomorrow the games begin togo will kick us off with their game against burkina faso they are the hosts tomorrow we'll be bringing you updates as and when uh, we get them so the black starlet under 17 side preparing to take part in the wafu zone b under 17 competition uh, they are ready to go it's a good time for them and we hope that the black talents uh, can get the job done remember the top two will qualify for con 2021 under 17 level so we'll be keeping close tabs on them as we usually do with most of the Ghanaian teams and uh, we'll be bringing you updates as and when uh, we get them uh, the ghana and the 17 side over the weekend as i said uh, play with niger and it was great to see all of them in action getting a good run out on that front the gfa are in full support of these boys and before they depart uh, for togo uh, we'll be sure that they can do an amazing job they will hopefully bring back home the trophy as the under 20 side 
did let me know your predictions for ghana in this tournament can they lift this one as well can ghana do it consecutive so now wins at the under 21st of all in december and under 817 level this month in january keeping a close tab on them Kotoko will also be playing this week this week is sure to be packed with Ghana football let me know your thoughts in the comments box on everything the under 17 tomorrow it kicks off under 17 Wafu Zone B competition we'll be keeping a close eye on that one I'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day